I'm working on the lights in my shop and for that I got my scaffold out and to make room for the scaffold I had to push all the machines over to the side I got my table saw on a couple of dollies and I got the workbench on a dolly and the reason I'm doing all this is I'm getting rid of these fluorescent lights how do I zoom in there? Zoom, come on. So with these lights, I actually put some aluminum foil in the reflectors to get a bit more light coming down, but uh, the problem is flies are attracted to that and they keep bouncing against the aluminum foil and that's particularly loud. So I haven't been able to use these lights while I'm filming. The other problem with these lights is the bulbs in them are color balanced for incandescent and that completely messes up the uh, color balance because all my other lights are daylight balanced. So let me show you what I'm coming up with. So uh, let's go up the scaffold. Here's my scaffold. Climbing one-handed. If I do this in one take, I don't have to do so much editing. So this is a light fixture and I'm just in the process of making another one of those. So I've got two LED strips and there's no lampshade type thing at all so that there's nothing for the flies to really bounce off against. And it's offset from the ceiling and you can see a bunch of flies flying around that one light bulb I got up there. So by bringing it down from the ceiling a bit, they're less likely to want to bounce off of that light because the flies are really attracted by the light. So here's the state of my shop, everything kind of pushed together. Uh, the table saw does not belong here, I've just been using it on the dollies, on an extension cord. Band saw is there, slot mortiser, panther router, my workbench on wheels. The jointer is already on wheels, so is the planer. And just a bunch of mess back here with the wood stove. So let me show you how this works. So I've got this beam here and there's two brackets on, there's a bracket on either end that the uh, light strip fits into and then a screw goes in here to lock it in place. And these are not at a right angle, which would seem the most intuitive because with all these things parallel, I end up getting very harsh shadows. So by putting them at an odd angle, they're less likely to form a harsh shadow with things that are square, like my workbench. And then in here, there's a mortise goes this piece here and on the other end this piece here that gives it the offset from the ceiling and then that screws up against the ceiling so hopefully with this one and the one that's already up there up there and the lights that I've got around the room hopefully I'll have enough light that I won't need to use my light stands too much there's one here and my big one right there Getting this place lit enough is quite a challenge just because it's so big. And by the way, all those drop cloths you see hanging here and there, that's uh, echo cancellation or, well, sound dampening. Some people mount expensive sound panels, sound dampening panels. I just stretch a drop cloth. The drop cloth is probably less than half as effective as a sound dampening panel but it covers a much bigger area. So say it's one third as effective and I cover four times the area, I still get more sound dampening. But yeah, still trying to uh, set up this shop properly, slowly, just haven't got enough time, family, kids, stuff to do around the property, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I hope you enjoyed that update. Uh, that's it for now.